Who's up, car pundits, car enthusiasts, enthusiast, car experts, and aspiring learners, trainees for automotive. Today, I'm gonna uh, demonstrate you how to read faults and clear fault codes using the launch scanner. So last week, I showed you the basics and how to use the Bluetooth scanner, the Launch X431 Pro Bluetooth scanner. So it's starting from turning on the um, scanner, putting the connector to the engine, and then to the to the procedures on how to use it. Choose from choosing the. Um, using the engine model and reading the, the data stream so that was it so today I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to read faults and clear faults uh, memory using this engine so here in this engine uh, Mac up or instructional engine Mac up. so we have here also some some of the some of the gauges that uh, normally that we have normally in the engine or in the vehicle so we have the temperature water temperature the rpm so and the battery so the alternator oh well forget about the spark plug so and then the injection so what's the what's the good thing of this engine mac up or instructional engine is that we have some faults here or we have some switch um, switch box for our faults okay so we can do simulation um, for our engine okay so so we will try one of these faults here so we we'll just have to turn on or turn off the faults okay so in on in the off position faults are inserted in the on position there is no fault so at this time guys so this all 10 faults are already turned on so meaning to say there there are no faults that is um, inserted on the engine okay so and that, that was very helpful for us because uh, I'm gonna show you how to read faults and um, clearing all the faults uh, using the uh, the launch scanner okay so stay tuned guys so what do we have here car pundit is i will turn off the switches three and five so let's see what happens what are the fault codes that uh, will be inserted okay so yeah we will turn off here three and five then we'll go to we'll go back to the scanner so we'll see what happens what are the fault codes that is appearing okay okay so since we switch on our oh, sorry we switch off the uh, fault three and five let's see what happens to the engine okay by the way so that's why some of our customers complains because yeah there is a an engine uh um check engine that appears on the the dashboard or some there is some hesitation on the engine or uh, there is a abnormal um, operation of the engine that's why some of our customers or car owners do need a scanner to check what happens to their engine okay so now we will see so we'll, we'll crank and we'll start the engine and then we'll see what happens when we turn off three and five okay Okay, you can observe there is a, a little bit of hesitation of the engine, alright? So, we'll see what is that code. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, restart or, yeah, restart the procedure. So, this is Toyota engine, so I will choose Asian. I will choose Toyota or Toyota, sorry. Yeah, I'll press confirm. Make sure that your... Uh, Ignition switch is turned on, okay? It's in a turn on position only, okay? Then we will wait to scan. I 
then I will choose 16 pin because our Bluetooth scanner or connector is a 16 pin standard that is the standard one then the scanner is communicating so we'll just have to wait for at least a second so I did show you this uh, procedure for our first um, session so so that you will not forget so I will choose manual select and press ok and then I will choose I will find NDE because this this engine is a 1ND a 1NDE engine for Toyota Corolla then I will choose multi mode then I press ok then I'll go system scan and then it will scan all the possible or possible modules or ECU that's equipped on the vehicle but for now we have only an engine so I might, might as well we have only engine and ECT okay so now this one is only equipped so I press this one then it will enter the system then we will read fault what are the fault codes that we uh, activated or inserted so now we have here the code that is P0190 that is uh, the description would be the common rail pressure sensor circuit and then P0403 that is the exhaust gas recirculation control circuit okay so now what I'm you can fault, uh, clear the fault memory here but I will choose to go back and I will choose clear fault memory okay okay before that uh, let us assume that we we what is this uh, we give the solution to our engine we repair it or we give a solution on what are the faults or the faults so let us assume i i will turn off i'll turn on again okay the system and then let's check okay if there is fault code of course there will be a fault code okay so then I will, I will clear the fault memory okay so it will, it will ask us are you sure to clear fault memory so make sure if you clear fault memory you already check what are the faults that we, uh, or you give already solution or repair or service already what are those uh, faults if not this will appear again uh, again again and again you're not uh, getting the solution to that uh, DTC that is appearing on our engine or our check engine okay so yes I will press yes and we will wait for again a couple of seconds okay so there there you go okay our uh, fault or fault codes that appearing on our engine or the check engine or in our scanner is already completed so we press ok then we go back to the uh, fault codes or the reading of the fault code if there is okay so there is no DTC after all okay so it's very simple um, it's very convenient very easy to use especially for the in for the students okay sorry about the noise guys so yeah launch uh, bluetooth scanner is very um very easy to use very friendly to use okay so yeah that is it so fluctuating 45 43 so that's why there is a fluctuation of uh, data stream or data on our 